Hey, so I wanted to talk about the importance of doing stuff for free and how that can significantly help grow your band. You know, um, this isn't just how music journalism is going to grow your band, although we've talked about that before. And this isn't about like, oh, just like do volunteer stuff for your label, although that's a big part of it too. But just broadly speaking, being sort of the, the giving guy in your scene who's always got something new he's bringing to the table, something that, you know, kind of helps the entire thing raise up is incredibly valuable. Um, especially in an age, I think, where people are increasingly self-centered, increasingly lost on social media and all that stuff. You want to be the guy who's out there grinding away for free, helping people out, being a bro, being everyone's best friend, right? Because if you're that person, the amount of value you generate and the amount of value others get from you is much higher. And when people want to work with people, they find valuable pe people who make their lives easier. You know, like I have been doing stuff for free for Hellfest since I was 18 years old. It's 9 p.m. on a Sunday, and I want to relax, but I'm going to go do a bunch of translations for them as soon as I finish this video. And it's because that gives me access. My two big, last biggest jobs were both from contacts I made at Hellfest, right? And I never would have been able to make those contacts if I wasn't doing translations for them for free. I didn't go into it thinking, oh, uh, I'll meet so-and-so and get paid X, y, uh, X amount of dollars. But, you know, I knew hopefully this could give me some opportunities I would have had otherwise. Or, you know, worst case scenario, I have a good time every year with my friends at Hellfest. Like, you know, like, do stuff for free. Realize it's going to suck a lot of the time and a lot of it isn't going to pay off. But the stuff that does pay off is basically what makes your band make it or not. You know, is like so many of these big bands who are like part of their hardcore scene, they were the people doing stuff for free. You know, booking shows, losing their asses on shows, you know, contributing uh, teaching other bands how to grow, you know, etc, 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 because eventually those opportunities come to pay off, you know, because all these people are music nerds, all these people are working together, trying to grow together, right? So either they grow together, and you, and if, you know, one person gets big, he remembers all his friends and helps them out, or no one gets big, and at least you have to work on some cool stuff together, right? But like, you want to meet as many people as you can on the come up, because you don't know where they'll be in three years. Literally, a guy who I used to go to shows with, like, we would just drive to shows together anywhere in Pennsylvania or whatever, is now in Waking the Cadaver, who are playing to, like, 30,000 people at festivals fairly regularly. You know what I mean? And that's just how it is. And that's not the only guy in my life like that. You know, my friends in Noisem just got announced for Obscene Extreme, and we all knew each other when we were teenagers. And it's just because we were out there, grinding it out, working together, trying to collaborate, trying to build things. I appeared my cat just there. You know, so don't be afraid to just see what you can do, see what you can do to help. Even like the amount of traction you will get, even just helping your friends move merch. Simple as that. You don't have to think in depth about it. You just have to do it. You just have to contribute and then see how it pays off. And not over the short term, but over a six month, year, two, five year scale. And that's where real success comes from.